Howdy stranger. Don't say howdy stranger to me. I'll be back. You can't be yawning on a podcast, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan's very sleepy tonight. Well. It <laughs> is episode 20. Of the two minute Terminator podcast, it's minute 38 to minute 40. Yeah, that's two minutes. We right. made it, we made it, and it's a final countdown. <laughs> well, there's a few more episodes to go yet, we're oh, yeah. like Shit. half an hour in. <laughs> but it's getting exciting, it is. The stuff, music's getting way more epic. Stuff's happening. It Gone is. are the days of like restaurant shenanigans with kids <laughs> putting ice cream in your apron pockets. <laughs> No, it's killer robots. Wild man, yeah, it's killer robots. It's happening. It's going in. There's car chases. There's there's fake blood. There's punching windscreens. Not so, punching wolves, which is what Liam Easton would do. Will people just stop taking his shit? <laughs> <laughs> so Ethan, talk to us. What's happening? Uh, what's happening is uh, what's occurred in. Basically, yeah. Uh, the Terminator was uh, leapt aboard the car, bonnet, boot, trunk, hood. <laughs> What is it in America? The hood. The, the hood. Yeah, ten minutes on the hood. He's just punched through the windscreen, and Carl's done a reverse, one eighty degree spin turn, and flung him off the car. Because he's also an amazing driver. However, just as the police arrived, that Lieutenant Traxler was sent, which is weird because he's only sent one guy. This guy's obviously here to see the for the techno to pick up Sarah, right? Mm-hmm. One dude. You'd send one dude. And by the way, at 38 minutes, 28 seconds, the policeman in question is William Wisher, who I think uh, wrote additional parts of the script for James Cameron, who also appears in Terminator 2. And what does he appear in Terminator 2 as, Ethan? Well, we can't say that because it hasn't happened yet. Oh, You'll have to tease. wait, listeners. Such a tease. Uh, yeah, but that policeman they just knocked out was uh, William Wisher. I'm sure if you just go on IMDb, you can find out what, what, what William Wisher was in the <laughs> other time. <laughs> I got stuck then, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> My CPU went, oh. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the first spreck between Sarah and... Um, you seem tired, Ellie. Your energy's quite low. You're like... Well, you're no, I'm, be, I'm trying to be factual. Okay. So one of us has got to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time they speak. It is the first time they speak. So what are they talking about? What's he saying to her? Uh, well, I'd like to say, who's smoking? Can you smell smoke? Yes, I could smell How it already. Is that? I smelled really it about bizarre. two minutes ago. We have uh, people smoking outside, people. It's bad for you. You shouldn't smoke. The studio. You shouldn't uh, smoke. So, they're discussing. <laughs> I was just Shut up! making you go around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> you shit bag! Uh... Well, he, they're in the car. Basically, she's this is the first time she's met Kyle. Uh, he's bundled her into a car. She's not sure if she can trust him. Shit herself. Why try and escape from the car though? It's moving for a start. He's... Uh, because, for all she knows, he's the killer. No, but she's already seen Kyle shoot the shit out of this other dude. That's no, quite clearly not in the a confusion dude. Confused at the nightclub. She was in a nightclub. Some guys pulled a gun on her. Another guy's pulled a gun. And shot the shit out of the other guy. But he also said, come with me if you want to live. Ran with her to a car. He's driving away from this dude. Th this crazy dude that now has no eyebrows has punched through the windscreen, tried to grab her out. He's then flung her from the car. After that, I think, well, I'm going to take my chances with this guy because as a woman of 19, what the flippity fuck am I going to do against something that gets something up after being Sarah shot? Sarah Connor's 19. But she is. According to what? According to facts why can't she be 29 and then 39 in terminator 2 because it's just 29 and working at oh shit working in a restaurant sorry to who would do that who would do that <laughs> tray monkey uh so <laughs> <laughs> I would take my chances with crazy dude with hobo trousers that smells like but shit. in a state of confusion and shock, and he is not acting the most sane person. He's screaming at her and stuff. Yeah, I know. But I just wouldn't want to fancy my chances on my own. Plus, he's driving pretty recklessly and pretty fast. Weirdly as well, he's driving along sidewalks in an empty Los Angeles. Like, <laughs> Yeah, there's absolutely no one on the road. The roads have clearly been closed to shoot this scene. <laughs> and uh, he's driving on the sidewalk. <laughs> 
just to confuse her and fuck her up. He's even a more. risk taker. Yeah, definitely. Maverick <laughs> from the future. So, yeah, I would take my chances with the dude with the shitty hobo pants because if you jump out of a speeding What's car. What's wrong with Arnold's face in this scene? All his hair's been melted off. In particular, what's noticeable? His eyebrows. His eyebrows are missing. I know. Does that mean his eyelashes are gone as well? You'd think. <clears throat> and how? What do you need them, though? Nah. They're not functional for anything in particular. Uh, we see Arnold Schwarzenegger smoking, getting up from the ground. Not actually smoking, but his body smoking from being kind of... Not even light, a Terminator would Lightly smoke. toasted. <laughs> and here's that dude again. What's his name? Just... I mean, as they drive off, mm. that's the end of the mission really for the Terminator because he'd never find them again, really, could he? Theoretically. Would he not have some built-in, like, sensor? Not for them. I mean, the reason he catches them later in the film because he obviously By goes chance. to her mother's house and the kid. Oh, yeah. That's true. And also, I think it's pretty cool how he can... Actually, did he even hear that dude speaking? How would he know how to replicate that exact dude's voice? Uh, because he was calling in going, this is 1L19. And he heard that? Yeah. Okay. And then he mimics the voice, which is what bookends this scene, essentially, with him going, this is 1L19. I'm on to them, Jimmy. I'm on to them, Jimmy. Yeah, James Cagney was uh, driving. The, <laughs> uh, not William Wisher. Or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, look, he's a crazy man, Kyle. He's driving recklessly. He's screaming at her. He's holding the back of her neck. Yeah, but he's running away from a Terminator. He's not holding the back of her neck. Yes, he is. Well, he's restraining her. You're fantasizing her. Prejudice. That. Rape fantasy. Uh, yeah, but he's clearly trying to help her. If he was going to kill her, he's he'd have done it already. He's stopping her from getting out of the car. Yeah, because she just tried to jump from a speeding car. He clearly has a care for her well-being. Although, and now all of a sudden, there's cars on the road again two cars consistency is key oh actually let's go back to episodes you were like if you were gonna go gay for either kyle or the terminator who would it be who would you pick uh, i i don't know kyle is quite hot you know <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of sex in in i can't really say too much but in the sex scene it's quite steamy i'm just like mm, he looks like he'd be a good lover why is it steamy it's just two hands into like going <laughs> you see you see some side boobage. You do. Yeah. And it's all dark and sexy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Have Sarah Connor's floppy oysters. <laughs> <laughs> She's only nineteen. Uh I don't know. It probably would be Arnie, but that's because I grew up just loving Arnold Schwarzenegger. Even as a young boy. <laughs> Even as a young boy. <laughs> what would you do in this instance then? Uh, I'd stick with the crazy dude because even though I think do you know what my likelihood of surviving the night are pretty from, slim you'd still want to get to the police oh come on dude the police don't do squat they yeah, sent they that. sent one dude to go and pick her up from that club he wasn't even a cop he was the writer the <laughs> he was the writer I talk paradoxes <laughs> he's coming at him with a pencil <laughs> yeah no I'd probably stick with Kyle because even she... though he's crazy he's got a gun He's clearly looking out for me for some reason. I might get laid out of it. Whoa. She's not thinking these things. Why, sh why not? She's quiet, you know, unassuming Sarah Connor. She's not trying to cause... How do you know she's unassuming? Because... What are you, what, how are you coming she's been, to this conclusion? She's been stood up for a date. The date she was going to go on, she went out in this the most dowdy office worker's outfit ever before she got stood up by James Cameron's voice. Yeah, but it's always the night. quiet ones that are the most sordid. You Actually, of all people should know that. Ellie, while you're watching a quiet one, a noisy one will kill you. <laughs> Just saying. I've never heard that one. Too shady. I think when she tries to get out of this car in a minute, or two minutes, mm. uh, she'd want, obviously, to be away from the Terminator, but if, whatever he is, she doesn't you know, believe this story anyway. But to get away from Carl, she's actually like a crazy man. She just needs to get to the police. Okay, so that's what you would do. No, that's what she's trying to do. That's what her next uh, course of action would be. Okay. Well, I well wonder, why I'm, would you trust this wacky dude in a Mac who's like, I can protect you? Like, because what's... he's already like shot at this other dude. I'll go to the police, thanks. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that was an outward sound, dude. <laughs> he's squeaking. <laughs> His cogs are getting loose. Um, oh, yeah, I wonder, people out there, what would you do? Would you stick with Crazy Kyle? 
Would you try and jump from the speeding car? And Send in your thoughts to uh, <laughs> 2 Minute Terminator. That's the number 2 Minute Terminator at gmail.com. Gmail.com. What would you do? Crazy Kyle? Or would you risk it on your own? I'd stick with Crazy Kyle. You'd risk it on your own? You would. Well, logically, you'd want to get away from this person because he's clearly crazy as well. He's probably just as dangerous as the person you, he's telling you is after you. They might even be in cahoots. Yeah, but women get off on that, though, don't they? I think in this heightened state of panic and fear, she's not thinking... Mm, she's not thinking this will be This will be <laughs> Well, she does later. Or she gets used to men. Well, I think she... And she how, does she, how does she ever know that he's not a Terminator? Apart from the bed scene. Or maybe they do have and he had to screw on his own dick <laughs> yeah. well that dude from inner space at least you could choose your own dick though you, that's true like different attachments you could have it with <laughs> egg <wind>. whisk <laughs> give me the whisk <laughs> give me the whisk <laughs> give me the corkscrew uh, double ender wow the possibilities are endless <laughs> give me a terminator back onto himself you can get sex robots now can't you no of course you can no not really yeah a flashlight with the oculus rift that would work no dude there's i saw on, on some late night thing which i wasn't watching because i'm 12 was, um, it, was it sex etra <laughs> it's that awful show no it's not as bad as euro trash that was worse <laughs> who remembers euro trash um no with... one apart from england <laughs> no there was there was this thing on recently um it wasn't actually sex etra but they were talking about it was all about robots and how they're going to change the future and things like that and they have now started making like sex robots that's so you know level of playing field <laughs> it does, i don't know dude like, i think i'm a pretty open-minded person all women's power is just going to go out the window there'd be no need for dates or putting up with a girl's crap or but then wouldn't that be the <coughs> same for women silly as well? mind games yeah well so then what would be the point in existence well, there won't be. I think humans will probably fade out and be replaced like by these... Like, so you think that what they're saying in Terminator is actually going to come to fruition? Not in that sense, but I think <laughs> they'll start building like synthetic... Well, you've got like... They're starting to build like synthetic body parts But now. isn't the whole point of life experience? Why would that just be eradicated to robots? Well, you'd er eradicate death, I think, in a sense, when you have your consciousness uploaded but how to can you? Chip. How would you eradicate death if there is no life? Well, it depends what you define as life. Consciousness is, could be considered life. Oh it's god, we're getting onto Scientology now. I went clear three times, <laughs> spent two hundred thousand dollars. And I took out all the imaginary swords and daggers that were stuck in my body. <laughs> and then I had to marry Tom Cruise. And I lived on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Why still got a boat? Ellie, do you have anything to add to this two minute car chase where literally they turn two corners in an empty street of Los Angeles? <laughs> that's my end. as we've drifted into the esoteric talkings of uh, we're talking Ray about Kurtz robots while. it's current and, and robots ruling the world one day there'll be lots of Arnold Schwarzenegger's walking around yeah well I, I don't think you could actually build something that's machine and put flesh onto it I think it would be like some grown like software or biomechanical stuff it wouldn't be like a, like metal mixed with uh, living tissue yeah it would be something completely different synthetic but organic so don't worry guys this is totally unique you could argue <laughs> that humans themselves are machines in a sense because it's yeah, like a we... series of parts all working in concert together yeah but as you've discovered yourself Ethan robots don't have emotions and a lot of people live their lives running on emotions don't they it's not yeah. very machine like is it uh, it's only crazy girls that do that <laughs> <laughs> he says adjusting his glasses <laughs> and on that bombshell people <laughs> That was episode 20, a mere car chase. But I think, you know, we, we danced around the, the, the big questions of the universe. We what is life? What is consciousness? Exactly. Could a Terminator exist? Please send us in your Do thoughts. Do androids dream of electric sheep? <laughs> or electric cheese. So, yeah, we will see you on episode 21. And uh, let me just check my my research. For more classic synths. Fat since <laughs> the Terminator drives without eyebrows. That is episode twenty-one, and that's coming next. So uh, we'll check. Do in join with you us. Then. It's going to be a, an epic episode. Do join us. Follow us on <laughs> Twitter and Facebook. That's two uh, T Two Minute Terminator, and uh, email us some cosplay Terminator pictures. Or and don't stop you with your toy collection of all like 
Is it Galoob that made the Terminator toys? I think it is. Send us pictures of your Galoob Terminator toys. Send yeah. us pictures of you and your Terminator outfit to two minute Terminator at gmail.com. Or go to Spin Planet and just buy yourself a Terminator toy. They don't have a Terminator anymore. They do. What? Oh, well, there's the Sideshow. Yeah, they do. Sideshow collectibles version. Yeah. 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 Who out there has got fucking 400 bucks? Lots of people. Really? With real jobs. That's true. <laughs> and how? If you have expendable income, send in all your. <laughs> Send in all the stuff you've bought with relation to Terminator. Uh, send us facts, figures, send us some trivia we might have missed or remind us of stuff we're clearly going to miss because we're actually shit at doing this podcast. <laughs> but we're having fun doing it, Jimmy. We're having fun, Jimmy. Tell your friends to ask for Jimmy. And do not ask about Ethan's wandering hands. I'm an old girl And I'm stupid in my head I'm an old spicy girl